Yeah, I mean, look, look, I told you the situation for what it is. I don't care what it takes. These women are hot. And we need to get them on the show. We need to do what we can. I don't really care about much more of anything. We've got two women on Craigslist that I've spoken to. And we get them for the new season. That would be wonderful. I don't care how you do it. I pay you big bucks to do what I tell you. So you do as I tell you. As long as I'm signing the paycheck, you get these women on my show. Okay? I'm telling you, this year we're going to go all out. You need to get these women on my show. No questions asked. Okay. Okay, Ray. All right. All right. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble domain. This is Gorgeous George, and I'm going to give you about maybe seven minutes of my time to be very brief and very discreet about what I'm talking about. There are a lot of things that seem to be festering on the Internet, and I just get got to be humble about it. I just got to say what I feel about it. Now, these imbeciles on the Internet take things that I say and steal my life. I am the superior, you're the inferior. I am the king, I am your eye candy. And you all whack off to me repeatedly. You sit there and you whack off to your eye candy. So I'm the mentor, I'm the superior, you're inferior. And you all need to just accept that. You fat tub of shit in Wilmington, North Carolina. I dare you to do a show on your channel defending Jerry Sandusky. If you can do that, I'd be amazed. Why don't you stop the attacks on me and let's prove the credibility, you fat tub of shit, and let's do something, let you go, let's go ahead and do something with Jerry Sandusky. Why don't you do a video on your blog defending Jerry Sandusky? I dare you. Because you know what? You won't have it in you. You're a pussy. You are a pussy, and you need to lose weight. I've lost 45 pounds. Yes, I lost 45 pounds. I can wipe the floor with you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Then you got this one in Wisconsin. Okay? Oh, oh yes. The one in Wisconsin, Stuart Fried Piss, and Artie Johnson is your daddy. You have Asperger's disease. Your mama supports the Asperger Foundation in your town of Venice in Wisconsin because her son has Asperger's. And you do have Asperger's, my friend. Yes, you do. And she favors the older child. That's your brother. Actually, maybe you might want to take note from the older child, older, your older brother, who says somewhat obviously has got it together. He's got a wife, he's got it together, he's got everything he needs. And you are playing with these Nintendo games. You know, have your little blog about Nintendo and your games and all that. You're a nerd who flips burgers at Hardee's, okay? You flip burgers at Hardee's. You got fired from that job, and you have nothing else better to do than troll people. You really need to take heed. I am your mentor. I am your superior. You're whacking off to another man. You whack off to another, to another man all the time. So, Mr. Stir Fire Piss, go to your daddy, Artie. Maybe he might take you back in. Your mom has had enough of you. She's already done enough for you. She's already bought you a house and the projects. And you wish you were your brother. Your brother's got it, has got it made. And you are a failure, my friend. Failure. And you, you need to take care of that face of yours. You need to rub, put some mud mask on and do something because you are a fat tub of shit as well. All right, so let's get it back into what we were talking about. So you, fat tub of shit in Wilmington, North Carolina, I dare you. I dare you to go ahead and do that. Rather than obsessing over your eye candy and gritting your teeth on your video, let me ask you something. Is that supposed to make me think that you're superior than me? Is that supposed to make me think that you have more intelligence and you're... No, that makes me think that uh, you're constipated and you're gritting your teeth because you're trying to take a shit. And obviously, you're gritting your teeth like you're... You want to think you're, like you're, you're insane. Well, yeah, you are maybe insane. I want to ask you, though, that have you, have you talked to uh, Chaz Bono? Have you, have, you, have you rubbed dongs with Chaz Bono? I, I'd love to know that. Um, I think it's probably past due that you do maybe rub dongs with Chaz Bono. That's your long-lost uh, pal, you know, long-lost brother-in-arms, long-lost lover and brother of the same same regard. So I'm just curious about that. But, yeah, I, I dare you, Lo, to uh, I dare you to go ahead and talk about, uh, you know, Sandusky. I dare you talk about and make a video about Sandusky because I think that, uh, you know, you, you lose credibility. I mean, you've already lost credibility, but I, I dare you. I dare you. 
about doing it. I love, I love to see you going ahead and doing that because you have zero credibility already. And of course, you'll lose even more credibility because the guy is a rapist. The guy has raped 31, 31, children, 31 kids and uh, his, own, his own son turned against him. So you're sitting there talking a bunch of nonsense about him being framed and it's being a conspiracy. No, the man is in jail. He did the crime. And you're supporting that. It's, it's amazing. And you want to attack me for, some, for somebody that already did his, did his time. Five years and he did his time. My friend who did his time. Okay? He's no longer here. So it's the point's mute. It's comparing. Uh, there's no comparison. Okay? You're obsessed with Penn State. You're obsessed with your eye candy. Okay? Maybe if you play your cards right, maybe Jerry Sandusky can rape you. Maybe he, Jerry Sandusky, can rape you in the shower and see how you feel about that. Anyway, that's you making these videos. That video that I did, that first show that I did was back in October. Okay? That first show that I did was back in October. And then I, wait to, I waited to put the show out in February. So you want to grunt your teeth and you want to talk about this and grunt your teeth and you want to talk about dance and go me to dance. Hey, I dance, but I dance with a female in my arms. What do you dance with? Huh? You dance with that blow up doll? You want to talk about me dancing? I dance with a female. I dance, I do a pretty damn good dancer, a pretty damn good singer. What do you dance with? Okay? You dance with your mother? Do you, do you, do you dance with your granny? Do you dance with your, probably maybe someone in your family? Or were, were you maybe, uh, maybe you were not part of the family? Maybe you were adopted, okay? Maybe your family is productive and they uh, look at your mind blowing face. You know, the pock marks in your face, that mind boy looking face of yours, you probably were adopted. But anyway, nevertheless, whether you were or not, you're an outcast, okay? You're a joke, all right? You have no credibility. You have no freaking credibility, okay? You're just a joke. You're just a whimsical joke. And nobody cares to hear what you have to say. Because half the time, you don't even know what you're talking about. And of course, you do it with a list. You don't even know how to talk. It's like taking a crap or taking a crap and flushing the out. What you do is you do it with a lisp. Okay? All right? Get a, get a grip. And that fagala in California, that fagala in California, crunch on your ice chips when you're drinking your soda and shaking your head like this when you're doing the video, trying to critique me, drinking that, mm, that's good, and drinking that Coke and drinking that those ice chips and sucking down on it. It's like if you were sucking a dick. <laughs> Like you were sucking a big fat one. Vic, you're a fag alive and you need to get get a life. I am your eye candy. Continue whack off to me, because that's all that you're gonna do anyway. I call the shots, I'm in control, I am the man, and I am the one that's causing this wonderment for all the ladies. Deal with it. Until next time, may you detractors go play in traffic. And maybe you get hit by a semi. Because you know what? Your tired act is old. I'm on TV. Ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm better than all of you. I'm your superior. So go blankety blank and go screw yourselves. Matter of fact, take a double dildo and ram it up that asshole. Because you are a bunch of malcontent son of a bitches. And I... And was causing 